Hi everyone, this is Ian Robinson and welcome to another episode of Ask ZBrush. Today we're going to cover a question that came in, how can I apply dynamic subdivisions to all of my subtools at once? So I have a model here that is using dynamic subdivision and the question is asking if a lot of my subtools have dynamic subdivision turned on, can we apply all this at the same time? So what we're going to do to check to see if our model has dynamic subdivision is we're going to go down to geometry, dynamic subdivision, and we can see here that dynamic is turned on. The traditional way of applying dynamic subdivision is actually to come over here and click apply and to select each subtool that has it and click apply as well. However, if we have a lot of subtools, this can be very time consuming and we would like to speed this process up. So to speed this process up, let's go ahead and download a Z plugin from ZBrush's website to make this process faster. So to download the Z plugin to help with this process, we're going to come over to ZBrush's website over at the Resource Center. And the link will be in the description for you to click so you can come straight here. And we're going to scroll on down until we find the Z plugin Clean Tool Utility. Now that we found Clean Tool Utility, we're going to go ahead and click Download to download this application. If you've never installed the Z plugin before, let's walk through that process real quick. So to install this plugin, we're first going to take our zip file and we're going to go ahead and extract that by right clicking and extracting all and say extract. Now that this is extracted, let's go ahead and open up this folder and also double click on clean tool utility install. And let's go ahead and copy these files. And now we're going to head over to our local disk program files and we're going to go into max on ZBrush 2022. We're going to scroll down to Z startup and Z plugin 64. From here, we'll go ahead and paste our files by hitting Control V on the keyboard, and then we'll go ahead and restart ZBrush. Now that we've restarted ZBrush, let's go ahead and load our file. Say open. We're gonna drag this back out, hit T on the keyboard, and now let's go ahead and frame it by hitting F. And now let's go back to geometry, dynamic subdivision, and as you can see here, we still have dynamic subdivision turned on. So to showcase that all of my subtools have dynamic subdivision turned on, I'm going to hit Shift F just so that we can show the wireframe. And with the arrow keys, I'm going to go ahead and scrub through my subtools by hitting down or up on the keyboard. And as we can see here, each one of my subtools has dynamic turned on. So now we're going to go ahead and use our new Z plugin to apply dynamic subdivision to all of our subtools at once. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and go up to Z plugin. And now we're going to go to Clean Tool Utility, and we can come down here to the bottom where it says Dynamic Subdivision to Subdivision. And what this will do is apply all of our dynamic subdivisions to actual subdivisions on each one of our subtools. So let's go ahead and click this now. So now it looked at all of my subtools and applied the dynamic subdivisions to each one. So now let's go ahead and take a look at all of our subtools. As we can see, our first subtool has dynamic subdivision turned off but we have actual subdivisions. And if I use the arrow key again to scrub through, we can see that all of my subtools now do not have dynamic subdivision turned on. In fact, it has been applied and now we have subdivision level three on each one of my subtools. Oh, I forgot one more thing that I wanted to point out about the clean tool utility that I think you should know. If for some reason you have subtools that are not visible, so let's go ahead and hide a couple of these right here but they are using dynamic subdivision. So let's come on down and see that dynamic subdivision is turned on. So if your subtools are not visible, but you would like to have all of your subtools have dynamic subdivisions turned on to real subdivisions, come back up to Z plugin and under clean tool utility, right next to dynamic subdivision to subdivision is a dynamic subdivision all button. By clicking DS all, all of our subtools, whether visible or not to the viewport, will be converted from dynamic subdivision to subdivision. So let's go ahead and click that. And now as we can see, even if it was not visible, let's click the head because we hid that, we could see that that was converted from dynamic subdivision to subdivisions. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be notified each time a video is uploaded. And please continue to send in your questions to hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!